everyone and welcome back to New Way. We have a new series called Game Changer and welcome to the month of August. If you haven't already gotten your kids craft, let us know and we'll get that for you. But for now, it's time to jump up and learn a new song. We have a game, a craft, a story, and we'll end with prayer. Our story is on the early church and we learn how being on God's team makes life better. So are you ready? Let's game on. I'm Homer. And I'm Hoops. We're basically crazy about sports. Yeah, dude, we love them all. Basketball, football, baseball, volleyball, soccer, synchronized swimming, you get the point. <laughs> well, one of the things these sports have in common is teamwork. That's right. And when you're on a team, life's just so much better. And you can accomplish way more as a team than just working solo. Yeah, these guys know exactly what we're talking about. Check this out. Being part of a team is the best. We have our pitcher, catcher, outfielders, and of course, the coach. That's me. Did you know that teams were God's idea? That's right. There was a time in the Bible when all of the people who believed in Jesus worked together and became God's team, also known as the church. Just like we study playbooks, they studied God's word. They also shared their lives with each other by eating and praying together every day. You mean kind of like when we go out for pizza after big games? Yeah, like that. Together, they would celebrate the great things God was doing in their lives. The people on God's team took it one step further. They didn't just do things for their fellow teammates, they also helped people outside of their team. Sometimes, they would even sell their stuff and give away the money. Like even their cars? <laughs> Dude. Cars weren't invented back then. But yeah, maybe like their donkeys. <laughs> Donkeys! This team of people who believed in Jesus also invited people who weren't like them to have dinner at their house. Oh, I hope they have spaghetti and meatballs. That's my favorite! Um, I can't say for sure, but I'm thinking that wasn't the kind of food they ate. Maybe it was hot dogs and nachos. You know, classic baseball food. Oh, that sounds delicious! No, guys, more like bread and olives and stuff. But the point is they shared all that they had with others. They even performed miracles and told as many people as they could about who Jesus is and how much he loves them. That's awesome. Sounds like an all-star team to me. These teammates couldn't have done all of that on their own. They knew they could accomplish more by working together. That's right. The first church was the perfect example that life is better on a team. 
They knew that teamwork makes the dream work. On God's team, life is better. Game time. Game time! It's when we give you a game for you, your family, your friends, your pets, whoever's there to do together. Are you ready for this one? I'm ready. This game's called Coach Says. Coach Says. Could also be called Simon Says, but Guess who Coach the Says. Coach is. It's way better. You ready? So we're going to give you some crazy things you can make other people do. Easy enough. Okay. If you fail at it, you sit down. Okay, that's yeah. easy enough. Easy, good. Yeah. Okay, we're good. You actually say coach says too. Okay. Can't forget that. I'm okay. ready. I'm All ready right. too. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Five jumping jacks. Oh. oh. I didn't say coach says! I got you right off the bat. That was, cool. that was, that was good. That was Okay, we'll good. start over. Let's do it again. Okay, you ready? Good. Coach says, stand tall like a pencil. Pencil? Yeah. Is this a pencil? I think that looks very pencil-like. Pencil? Sharp like yeah. a pencil. Pencil. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Yeah. Good job. All right, now, let's start out with turning around three times. <laughs> you didn't say Coach Says. I tried to trick her. Good job, Grace. Okay, Coach Says, smile your biggest smile. Nice job. Eee! Very good. All right, Coach Says, quack like a duck. I don't know how a duck acts. Quack, quack. That was not very duck-like. I want more of it. Quack, quack, quack. My bad. My bad. Okay, yeah. That, that's what I was looking for. Oh, okay. All right, so how about uh, Coach says, moo like a cow. I feel like cows get down on all fours, right? Probably This so. is far enough. Okay. Moo! Oh, that was impressive. Very Thank good. You. Very yeah. good. All right, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you think you can do a horse? Nay. Oh no! Coach didn't say! That was great. Now it's your guys' turn to try Coach Says. It's Crap Time! Hello everyone, welcome to Craft Time. This week we're uh, focusing on God's, with, on God's team, Life is Better. So our craft is a foam finger. And in your kit, you'll have the template, the foam, and stickers. So all you'll need is glue, so that once you trace and cut out the foam finger template, then you just glue the edge except the bottom. Do not glue the bottom. And then you put glue, um, stickers on it when the glue dries, and then you can put your finger on it, and you can have fun cheering on God's team, life is better. Today's play comes from a book in the Bible called Acts. Can you shout, Acts? Acts! In Acts, we see a team of people who loved God and wanted to learn more about Him. They shared all they had with each other. They ate together and prayed together. God was doing amazing miracles in and through His team. God's team helped everyone around them. If someone needed food to eat, a place to live, or clothes to wear, God's team would help them right away. Every day, God's team hung out together. Their hearts were happy. They praised God by singing songs and telling Him how much they loved Him. The people on God's team were kind to all people. And every day, God added more and more people to His amazing team. Team life is better!
teamwork. Welcome everyone to Game Changer. And with Game Changer, we have a new Bible verse. Whoop, whoop. I know, it's exciting. So first we're gonna show you the Bible verse with the motions, and then we have a game that you can do with the Bible verse. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. Suppose either one of them falls down, then the other one can help the other one up. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 10. Great job! Are you ready for a game now? Oh yeah, I'm ready. So for this game, you need a ball, a ball. or a toy okay. or something you can pass. Okay. This is called the Hot Potato Bible Hot verse. Hot Potato, all right. So every time you have the ball, you have to say one word from the Bible verse. Yikes. But I don't if you know mess if up, catch you lose, ball. and the other person wins. You okay. ready now? Yes, I'll try. So I'll start. You know I'm not very good at Two catching. Two people are better than one. They can help each other in everything they do. <gasps> Suppose either one <laughs> of them falls down, down. <laughs> then the other one, one. can oh you can <laughs> help <laughs> the other one up up. Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10. Yay! <laughs> I thought I was going to drop the ball. We did it. We made it the full time through. <laughs> See if you guys can. Hey, hey. Look and you see. God loves you and God loves me. Hey, hey. What do you say? We could play on God's team every day. singing everyone. I'm so glad that I got to spend time with you today and I can't wait to spend time with you next week. But before you go, let's end with a prayer. If you'll bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you for allowing us to be on your team and help us to learn how being on your team 
makes life better. Amen. Good job, team. We'll see you next week. Bye.